Okay. Do you have more for us? Uh, yes. All right. Um, we want to invalidate caches. Ooh, nice. So, we created our weather cache. Now, maybe we want to invalidate it manually. So, we know there was a big event. We need new weather data. <laughs> um, so, we manually want to invalidate it. Um, I will now just create a different uh, package for this managing because we probably don't want to expose it on the same endpoint. Um, but you can put it anywhere in any bean. Um, uh, so, uh, no, not weather, hash. <laughs> um, yeah, as I said, you can put it on any bean, um, this. And basically what we need to do is we need a function with the same parameters. That's all we need and the name. And we can say add cache invalidate. That's it. Um, so if you call this function with two parameters, then it will remove that entry from the cache if it exists. Ah, OK. So, so this is just removing one, one of the cache. It's not really invalidating the whole cache. So it's yes. just one. OK, got it. The single cache entry. That's that. So you said it's supposed to be the same name. No, uh, to... the parameter oh, okay. order needs to be same. No, only the order. The names can even be different. So the types and city must come first. Because okay. the order changes the, the cache key. So it's supposed to be a string and a date. Yes. So if you have another function that will also has have a string and date, then you will by accident invalidate this one as well, right? It's only for the weather cache. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Missed that one. But okay. you could also add uh weather to cache. So you could can add multiple of those annotations and invalidate multiple cache entries at the same time. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's one thing what we can do, but we can also invalidate the complete cache, uh, invalidate all. Ah. Then we just need um, a method, no parameters, uh, cache name, obviously, weather. Delete single weather cache entry. So, and importantly, as always, these methods must not be private because Quarkus needs to build code around them. Okay. Um, so let's build. And it's normal that they stay empty, or do you? Yeah, they can stay empty. You can add some locking. Um, oh, okay. Whatever. For Quarkus, it's not important because the cache cleaning stuff is built around this method. So okay. when you enter this method, it's already done. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's it's a wrapper that mm -hmm. Quarkus constructs around it. Okay. Um, so what we can do, let's create some cache management resource. We have uh, our cache management service and we have a delete single weather cache entry and we have a delete weather cache. That code just appeared. Um, yeah, um, so this is just to have an endpoint. Um, here we, we can call the clearing with uh, the parameters or we, we say completely mm -hmm. clean it. And uh, now we can test this and see if it works. So. First, we need to put something into the cache. So I will put in Karlsruhe with 28 and 27. So we can see 27 is cached, 28 is cached, okay? Okay. Then let's delete a single result. So we go to, we call delete on the cache weather path and pass on the values. Okay. So we delete a 27th. 
we call the method and 28 still quick 27 removed oh okay okay mm -hmm. so um yeah that's one thing that you can do um now we have the 27th again in the cache so now we can also completely clear it now 27 takes long time and also 28 takes a long time to recalculate okay. and yeah that's basically how easily you can clear the cache manually nice so you would not need this rest endpoint here the only thing you need uh, to clear the cache um, you add this cache invalidate um, annotation where you provide the name of the cache that you want to invalidate. Mm -hmm. um, in case of cache invalidate, it's supposed to only validate, uh, invalidate a single entry. Okay. Um, so you need to provide also the parameters to the function so it can construct the cache key so it knows which cache key to remove. Um, if you want to drop the whole cache, then you can use cache inv invalidate all then you don't need parameters because you don't need a cache key, you just, just drop it all. Um, and if you would want, you could also um, add more annotations here. Okay. Nice. So when would you normally use... So I do get the point to invalidate all, but when do you normally use uh, one for a single uh, cache entry? If you go back to the address validation, mm -hmm. If the address format changes, it's probably not a global thing, but just a thing for one market. Ah, okay. And then you can invalidate it for that single market. Okay. Um, you can even combine the cache invalidate and the cache creation. Um, so you could, uh, on one hand, you inside here, you could call um, the other method to, to calculate the weather again. Mm -hmm. um, then you would directly refresh it also. Okay. Um, on the other hand, you can also um, make a function where you have both. Um, so you could have, if we go here. Um, so, yeah. You could have a... a Calculate forecast. Uh, a calculate forecast method where we, um, on one hand, we cache, but we also cache, we invalidate. Uh, invalidate. So it would first invalidate, mm -hmm. then it would call this function and use the result to cache it. Now, okay. at the moment, it doesn't really make sense mm -hmm. because you would always invalidate. But you can also use another function to get the cache result. Ah, okay. So if you, um, yeah, if you have this function, basically, if you, doesn't make much sense now, just creating a, an artificial example, but um, if you would, um, Go, yeah, you could here calculate forecast, city date. So if you call this, let's name this recalculate. So if you call this function, mm -hmm. it would work um, like before because it's a bit of a duplication now, but um, we go in here, mm -hmm. we invalidate the cache and we create the cache. Here we also create the cache and override it. Uh, it's probably, there's a way to do it better. <laughs> Just a quick example. Okay. Um, however, the next time you come here, you have it already cached. So you get the result, the cached result. Okay. So it would work like before. Okay. But 
if you call this function. Then we invalidate the cache and we directly recalculate the result. So when the next one comes and wants the, the forecast here, mm -hmm. um, he directly gets the cache result. Ah, so he doesn't have okay. to do the weighting. Okay. So that's what you could use it for. Hmm, interesting. Okay. But nice. Yeah. Um, probably a bit more limited in the usage. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, I think that was clearing a cache. So perfect. Yeah.